welcome everyone to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports as we get ready to start the season in style. Our game tonight featuring the Chicago Bulls as they go up against the Detroit Pistons. With Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. And we've got David Aldridge reporting in from the sidelines. Excitement card surrounding a season opener. Think these players have any game one jitters? Absolutely. I mean, it's normal and it's human. How could they not? I mean, they've been waiting for this moment all season long, so I'm sure it's tough to keep those emotions in check, but you got to make the butterflies fly in formation, man. Now, here's Lambeer. Here's Thomas. The shot's good. Rodman making the play. The pace Isaiah plays at can really challenge a defense. He gets the hot pass and has a shot up right away. Outside Pippen. Outside for Jordan. Right wing. Cartwright misses. Outside Rodman. Here's Jumars. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, he's a really competitive guy, Joe Dumars. Not allowing the defense to overwhelm him there. Detroit shooting their first free throw of the game right now. At the line for one. good for Dumars. While he mostly plays the two, Joe Dumars can also slide over to the one. Such a versatile part. Paxson passes to Jordan. Pippen against Thomas. Six to shoot. Unloads from nine. And Pippen gets it to go. Great to see a big effort against Pippen defensively, but it's just not enough to contain his great skill. On the wing, Dumars, defended by Jordan. Dumars, the pass to Rodman. Some solid defense from Grant. Defense was right up in his face there, and it spoiled his attempt to lay it in. Grant with a screen on Aguirre. Pippen kicks to Grant. On the corner, that falls. Nice feed that time from Scottie Pippen. And Scotty Pippen so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. Thomas passes to Aguirre. That one's in his first shot this game. That's the kind of look you're working towards. Nice play. Here's Jordan. Jackson outside. Pippen outside. Grant down low. Rodman on him. Pippen is doubled. Passes to Kirk. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. It's Rodman with the ball for the Pistons. On the wing, Rodman. The Pistons working the ball around now. Thomas, no good. Bulls have gone two for four from the field so far today. Out to the wing. Car right inside. Rodman cover. He gets it in there. Pippen's got his second bucket. That is the sweet spot for Scotty. That mid-range game. 
High post lane beer. It's Thomas on the wing. Lame beer dishes to Rodman. And Thomas has it in the corner. Six on the shot clock. I've been against Grant. Now, here is Dumars. He's guarded close. That one goes in. Some real tenacity from Dumars inside. Navigating his way to a close-range look. The Bulls have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. And the pass to Jordan. And it's good off the glass. You let him get going early, that could be real trouble. A pretty clean look from mid-range, and he'll knock those down. Rodman with a screen on Paxson. Pass to Aguirre. It's good. Aguirre's got his second bucket tonight. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Jordan, the pass to Pippen. Jordan, right side. And they double up Jordan. Pippen outside. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. I love to see Pippen hunting his shot, especially when he's got the position he wants inside. Here's Thomas. He was not able to get there in time, so that's a good call. Yeah, if you're going to go for that play, you have to be quick. He didn't act fast enough. Full 24-second shot clock. Outside Thomas. Lampier with a screen on Paxson. Thomas, that's good. Boy, Thomas getting exactly what he wanted there. That's a high percentage look for him. Really nice looking stroke. And here's Paxson. Still without a basket. Grant outside. Here's Pippen. And the rebound goes to the Pistons. That was tough to watch. He takes it all the way to the cup and just can't finish the job. McGuire passes to Thomas. Fires from the line. And that one, good. Isaiah. Thomas got six. Boy, Isaiah Thomas, such a creative ball handler. Rush hour handles and a fantastic feel for how to break defenses down. Pass to Jordan. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Such a gifted offensive player. He can hurt you in a variety of ways. He's a headache for opposing defenses. Here's Thomas. He's got six. Shot clock at six. Not going to go that time. Chicago trailing here. Paxson outside. And it's Pippen in the corner. Back to Paxson. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Operating inside at close range. Paxson with a nice touch on that inside shot. For Detroit, they've gone 7-12 from the field here in the first quarter. Outside Thomas. And it's Rodman, top of the key. He dishes it to Dumars. Back to Rodman. Kicks it to Thomas. Into the lane. It's good for his fourth bucket of the night. He's shooting four of eight. Boy, inside the defense goes all out trying to stop Thomas, but he stays focused and manages to get around him for the bucket. Now, here's Jordan. Side Pippen. Paxson passes to Grant. Back to Paxson. And the shot goes in. Paxson's got the game tied up here for the Bulls. The point's coming in bunches here. Where's the D? Some great scorers on both sides. It's just that type of a game so far. Now, here's Thomas. He's got eight. He kicks to Dumas. Pistons passing it around. Shoot. 
Pass over Jordan. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Pistons lead by two. With Rodman, you have to be aware of where he is. Get a body on him. Really box him out. Dennis is always looking for an offensive rebound. Here's Pippen. Six points for him. Rebounded by Rodman. It's Rodman with the ball for the Pistons. Outside Thomas. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. Armstrong's checked in for Michael Jordan. And Detroit with a change here, too. Walker's checked in for Thomas. Bulls on D. Trailing by two. Outside Dumont. Just five to shoot. Over Armstrong. And Dumars gets it to go. Dumars got six. Great use of the mid-range. Joe Dumars pouring into. Paxson passes to Pippen. Here's Cartwright. Rebounded by the Pistons. And going against Chicago, their first game of the NBA's regular season. Rodman with a screen on Armstrong. And Walker kicks to Rodman. Inside. Here's Dumars. That drops and it comes off the assist from Rodman. And it's a six-point piston lead. Nice find there by Rodman leading to the bucket. Walker against Paxson. Shoots over Walker. The shot's good from Paxson. He's got six. And if you give him space like that in the mid-range, he won't hesitate to let it fly. Rodman with a screen on Armstrong. Pass to Aguirre. A fader. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. And great challenge by the defense there to prevent the inside bucket. Grant against Lambeer. Screened by Grant. Fires high post. The pass to Armstrong. And here's Pippen. Pass to Paxson. Walker with some nice D. Detroit leading by four. Pass to Duma. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Nice soft touch from Dumars on the shot. He's using a subtle shot to get it to go down. Grant sets a screen for Pippen to the inside. Paxson outside. Passes it to Clark. And Beer with the steal. Rodman with the ball. Now defended by Grant. Outside, Aguirre. There's the pass to Dumas. Takes it inside. It's good. Joe Dumars Dumas. got 12. Boy, again, it's Joe Dumars doing work, bringing the scoring punch tonight. Pass to Paxson. To the middle. Pippen kicks to Armstrong. Grant with a screen on Walker. Here's Paxson on target from 13 feet. Pistons leading by six. Outside, Walker. Here's Dumars. Scotty Pippen grabs the miss. Into the Bulls, uh, you know, shooting has been tremendous early. Their offense looking primed and ready for this match. Down low, and the jam by Bill Cartwright. Clever feed by Armstrong. Reading the floor and finding the right guy to send the ball to. Outside, Walker. Dumars a screen on Paxson. Is acquired and the last second attempt does not go in for him. This is why Pippen is regarded as a terrific defender. His hustle and impact. And that does it for the first quarter. The Pistons on top. They're up by four. Live from Chicago Stadium.
and thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Detroit. Ever since this game started, they've been attacking inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage looks. In addition to that, how about the mid-range action we've seen from this group? Utilizing the jump shot to get them started in the right manner in this one. Here's Thomas after the made shot from Michael Jordan. Sally with a screen on Armstrong. And the basket by Thomas. And Thomas's basketball IQ shines in these screen and rolls. Clever at exploiting the defense. Now Armstrong. Nothing on the board. And the dunk by Jordan. Well, we've got liftoff. Jordan showing off that unmatched vertical leap to go up and throw down the alley-oop. Nicely done. Now, here's Thomas. The lead is two. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. When Thomas finds his offense, he's deadly because he knows how effective he is when he maintains his aggressiveness. Walker against Jordan. Kicks to Armstrong. Pass to Hobson. Four on the shot clock. To the wing on the left. Passes it to Jordan. A three ball. Rebounded by the Pistons. Second quarter of basketball. Just over a minute and a half played. Now the pass to Thomas. Pass to Sally. Back to Thomas. Oh, good on the triple. Bulls trail by four. Hobson passes to Armstrong. Jordan outside. Purdue with the ball. Scoreless thus far. A shot by Jordan, no good. Pistons leading by four. Walker looking for an opening. Thomas against Armstrong. Thomas dishes to Walker. Back to Thomas. Over Armstrong. Again, Thomas missing. From the mid-range, you really want to avoid contested attempts. Armstrong passes to Hobson. With the shot. Jordan with another miss. I don't think you can ask for a better look, just not the result they were looking for. Yeah, he's got to put that miss behind him and continue to fire away when he gets that kind of a look. Here's Sally. Pass to Bedford. Teardrop shot. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. Beautiful work on the float of that time by Thomas. So smart when he gets into the lane. This guy can score a lot of different ways. One of the best point guard finishers we've seen. Here's Hobson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. Now here's Thomas. 14 points for him. High post try. Thomas with another miss. Well, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Yep, it goes. And the Piston lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Michael Jordan. Armstrong against Thomas. This is it to Walker. Here's Sally. 11 feet away. Almost, but it rolls out. He has to be smarter there, guys. We all know he can make that shot, but the defense was right on him there. Here's Hobson. Purdue the screen. 11 feet away. Hobson's shot is off. He had space to operate inside, but just couldn't get it to fall. The pass to Sally. Here's Hobson. 
pass to Jordan. Shoots over Walker. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got it all tied up now for the Bulls. And Clark, you look at the evolution of the game, it seems we're seeing less up and down action. Yeah, it's a little more half court. And also, Kevin, I think isolations have become front and center now. Teams know they can exploit a matchup with no zone defenses allowed. And I think the half court game and the fact that there's no zone really makes every possession count that much more. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Our right comes in for Purdue, and it's Jackson in for Hobson. Detroit also making some changes. Bill Lambeer's checked in for Bedford. Rodman comes in for Salad, and Aguirre's subbed in for Sellers. Cartwright misses. It's Rodman with the ball for the Pistons. Next up on the dock at the Bucks following this one. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Pass to Aguirre. Over Jordan. And the shot goes in from Aguirre. Flyers got six points. You know, from that far out, McGuire pretty much automatic. King outside. Here's Cartwright. Detroit with the rebound. rodman has got six rebounds in the game. Going inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And there's no off switch on Aguirre. He's constantly pushing it, forcing contact on the drive. Detroit shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Two shots. That free throw good from Aguirre. You know, Mark Aguirre does really just about everything you would ask of him on the floor. Not much that he can't do. Chicago making some changes. Grant comes in for King. And Pippen subbed in for Armstrong. Joe Dumars, he's checked in for the Pistons. So he hits one of two from the strike. Bulls trail by three. Pippen feeling it out a bit. Pass to Jordan. Jordan is double. Right against Lambeer. Here's Jordan. That's good again. His seventh basket. Seven for ten from the floor. Jordan getting quickly into the shot. No hesitation. Supreme confidence shooting off the pass. Walker in the post. He's against Jordan. And Walker kicks to Dumas. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Rodman's got his second basket of the night. Nice work on the offensive boards. Yeah, just getting the touch just right for that tip and well timed. Fantastic play. Yeah, it's easier said than done, but he did make it look effortless out there. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. The Bulls making a switch here. Hobson's checked in. Sally, he's checked in for the Pistons. On defense, the Pistons. Three-point lead. Lock at six. Hobson. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Here's Dumars. Twelve points for him. To the inside. Got a piece of it, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Chicago with the ball. They trail by one. Paxson outside. Now the pass to Kirk. Here's Pippen. That's in, and that's his fourth pass of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. And the team-first attitude of Cartwright, wanting to get it to his open guys. Now, here's Lambie. No scoring in this one. Great open look there. A well-timed feed was the catalyst for that bucket. 
That's how you set someone up for success. Rodman against Pippen. Pass to Paxson. Here's Upson. Grant with a screen on Aguirre. Another one falls for Chicago. That's an awful defensive lapse, allowing the uncontested jumper. Outside, Aguirre. Lambeer passes to Dumas. And the Pistons getting another bucket right there. Excelling in the catch and fire. Dumars is always ready for the pass. Pass to Pippen. Now, here's Grant. It's tipped. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Passes it to Hobson. Over Aguirre. Hobson, that's good. Hobson's got the lead up to one now for the Bulls. These teams have really gone back and forth. Yeah, you know, five lead changes already, partner, and this one's definitely going to be a battle. Here's Dumars. Misses, and he wants that one back. And for the Bulls, they're shooting around 60% of the night. Amazing work offensively so far. Stolen by Rodman. And there's the pass to Aguirre. Yep, that one goes in there. Aguirre's got five points now in the quarter. He certainly is not the tallest forward in the league, but Aguirre carves out space in there, knows how to use that ample lower body, and he's highly skilled. Now, here's Pippen. Eight points for him. Shot clock at five. Cartwright, the pass to Pippen. Second chance effort. Cartwright misses. The Pistons leading. Outside Dumas. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Pass to Rodman. Aguirre kicks to Rodman. Sally with a screen on Pip. Shot on the wing. And Dumars gets it to go. And now a three-point Detroit lead. And he has been dialed in since the tip with his shot. Great output from him so far. And another turnover here by Chicago. The ball sailing out of bounds. Not the offensive possession they were hoping for. B.J. Armstrong's checked in for Chicago. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Thomas has checked in. 130 left in the first half of the game. Drilled from 11 feet out. Thomas got 16 points. Even though he's a smaller guard, Thomas is not afraid of attacking inside. Really good work there. Grant surveying the D. Here's Cartwright. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Cartwright's got his second best. You know, with his size, he's able to look right over the defense and get an easy look at that mid-range jet. And with his touch, that's a shot I'm fine with him taking 10 times out of 10. Punish them for putting a smaller man on you. Now here's Thomas. He's got 16. From 17 feet out. And Detroit again with the button. Bulls trail by five. And here's Armstrong. 35 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Pippen against Aguirre. Pippen the pass to Grant. A stupendous finish in traffic. Very impressive stuff from Grant there. Tremendous concentration. Pistons leading by three. Outside Aguirre. Goes up from the top of the key, and it's good for two. He's got 11. 
Look at the touch on Aguirre's shot. He knows just how to adjust his power. Isaiah Thomas has been on display for Detroit. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Isaiah Thomas having a dominant impact in this game. The jumper was wet and working. Great efficiency from him. He's taking advantage of his opportunities, showing off that J. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Now here's Jordan. Here's Grant. Good, and the assist goes to Jordan. Grant's got the first field goal of the second half for Chicago. Rodman with a screen on Pex. Pass to Dumars. Rodman in the high post. Back to Dumars. Passes to Aguirre. Shoots over Pippen. The rebound by Cartwright. Cartwright's got six rebounds here tonight. Paxson passes to Pippen. Here's Cartwright. Lambeer defending. A jump hook and no good. Trying to use the glass. Enzo Thomas will bring it up for Detroit. It's a three-point game. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. And he banks in the lane. 20 points for Isaiah Thomas. Such an excellent teammate. Two more guys appreciate when he passes it to them when they're open. Upside Grant. Now here's Jordan. 14 points for him. Grant, right side. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Dennis Rodman picks one up. Scores the ball so well. Grant requires sticky defense, as you see there. The Bulls shooting their first free throws of this game. First free throw is good. You know, one of the things you love about Grant is how hard he plays. I mean, not only that, but he plays hard and smart. He's off on the second. Court right. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Cartwright's got six. Unrelenting on the boards. Cartwright using that strength and size to get those second shot points. Aguirre against Pippen. Pippen with the steal. Nixon outside. Stolen by Rodman. Here's the pass to Thomas. Cartwright against Dumars. Thomas deciding where to go with it. Four on the clock. Rodman trying to break free. Thomas, no good. For Chicago, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Jordan outside for the tie. Aguirre grabs the miss. Pistons have gone one of three since starting the second half. Inside, and then Lampier with the dunk. Nice vision by Aguirre, creating an easy scoring opportunity by finding the open man. Grant outside. Pass to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. 
screened by Grant. Here's Paxson. And again, Chicago turns it over. Well, he just didn't make the catch. Didn't look the ball into his hands. He must have thought the ball was going somewhere else. Detroit leading by four. Thomas passes to Dumas. And here's Lambeer. Here's Thomas. That one rolling around and rims out. This offense has been dynamic and diversified. Everybody sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you really hard to defend. Now, here's Pippen. He's got eight. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Grant's got three assists now in this one. Boy, he was locked in on that shot. The defense right in his face, but Pippen still able to knock it down. Thomas against Paxson. Has the doom. It's tipped. All going up court. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. I applaud Grant for figuring out a way to get to the strike. Team foul. Chicago shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Horace Grant. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. That one drops. He ties it up. And so, it's Detroit with it. Outside Thomas. And Grant sends it back. One of the better defenders in this game, Grant teeing off on that one. And here's Dumars outside. Again, the miss by the Pistons. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the bowl. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Now, here's Grant. Nine points in the game so far. Here's Jordan. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. Lighting it up. Michael on one tonight. The Pistons have gone two or seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements here. Passes it to Dumas. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Thomas got his third assist on the night. Assertive move. You can tell this game's heating up. Pippen dishes to Jordan. Back to Pippen. The pass to Jordan. Now packs it. Thomas covering. Five to shoot. Here's Jordan. And it's Chicago scoring again. Jordan has no problem with being closely guarded because it doesn't bother him in the least. It's Dumars on the wing. Pippen against Aguirre. Back to Dumars. Lambeer with a screen on Jordan. Dumars sinks that one from the post. Dumars got the game tied up here for the Pistons. Hey, the defense had no chance right there, even with the contact. Dumars knows exactly what he needs to do to still score. Here's Jordan. Jordan can't get that one to fall. For Detroit, they've gone 4-9 for the four so far in the third. Pass to Aguirre. Stolen by Pippen. Oh, and here comes Pippen all alone. And that one drops for him. Pippen's got the lead up to two now for the Bulls. Scotty Pippen so effective as a two-way player. Rewarded on offense for working hard on defense right there. Here's Dumars. 
Here's Rodman, and it's blocked. Outside Pippen. Grant up top to the wing right side. Jackson kicks to Pippen. Jordan passes to Pippen. Six to shoot. Pippen. Great positioning on the putback. And the Bulls lead by four. You know, Pippen is about 6'8", but he's got the wingspan of a condor using that reach to corral that rebound. Lambeer with a screen on Pex. Rodman trying to break free. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Taking advantage of what the defense is giving them, the mid-range. And they're happy to take it. Feeding the post, and it's working for them. They're letting the big dogs eat inside tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Thomas. You know, Thomas plays the game with such an edge and attitude and great confidence, and I think that gives him an edge out there on the court. He's always willing to go the extra mile. Walker's checked in for Detroit. And both free throws good for Thomas. The Bulls with the lead. Now Paxson. Eight points for him. Bulls moving the ball around. Here's Pippen, and the slam dunk by Pippen. Well, I like to see Pippen being this assertive at the rim. He puts that impressive athleticism to good use there. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. Pistons making a change here. Dumars is checked in. Number four, Joe Dumars. So it's the Pistons now, trailing by four. Outside, Walker. Has to do And that's collected by Grant. Grant's got seven rebounds in the game. To the paint, here's Cartwright, and the jam by Bill Cartwright. Very physical play by Cartwright. Defense just doesn't want to get in the way. Walker with it. He has yet to score. Outside Dumas. And he converts the layup. Cashing in on the interior, making it look all too easy. Chicago leading by four. Paxson passes to Pippen. Grant with a screen on Dumas. A drive by Jordan. Gets it to fall, and now he's 10 of 15 on the game. You know, once Jordan makes his move to the basket, he has no intention of stopping, which makes it hard to slow his progress. Now, here's Dumas. 24 points for him. Horace Grant. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. Superb anticipation on that rejection, and that'll allow them to stay on the lead if they keep defending like that. So for the Bulls, Kings checked in for Cartwright, and Armstrong subbed in for Michael Jordan. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Sally's checked in. On the wing, Walker. Pippen against Aguirre. The kick out to Dumont. Shot clock at six. Sally with a screen on Armstrong. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot.
shot off in time. Bowling ball. Hill Purdue's check in for Chicago. Hobson comes in for Paxson. And then for Detroit, Bedford comes in for Dennis Rodman. And Sellers sub in for Aguirre. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for Chicago. They host the 76ers after this game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Tries from 16. Sally with the rebound. Pistons trail by six. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. For Detroit, they have made three of their first five foul shots tonight. Walker at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good from Walker. And so Walker nails both of them. Here's Pippen. He's got 16. Purdue the screen. Pippen the pass to Purdue. One fifty-eight left to play here in the third. Here's Sellers. Defended by Pippen. Sellers passes to Dumas. The Pistons working the ball around now. Clock at four. Here's Walker, count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Wow, what a play. How in the heck did he make that? Somehow maintaining control even while absorbing the foul. That's impressive. The Pistons have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. And the Pistons making a change here. Thomas has checked in. On the free throw, no good. The Bulls shooting a tremendous 61% from the floor, hitting at all cylinders. Fantastic job capitalizing in transition. Armstrong has a sense for how to position himself in these situations. Now here's Thomas. He's got 22. Passes it to Sellers. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Second person. That's how to set a screen. You've got to be quick to the spot, set your feet, and hold your position. He nails all three aspects here. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. What's up? Chicago leading. And here's Armstrong. Here's King. It's blocked. Now here's Thomas. The pass to Bedford. Chicago The Pistons have made two thirds of their free throws tonight. Six of nine to be exact. William Bedford. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. Free throw shooting is a constant cause of concern for them. And today, that concern has been front and center. Tied up with that one. Had an opportunity for more there. We'll see if it comes back to bite him. 
103 left to play in the third. Pass to Hobson. Outside Pippen. King outside. Six on the shot clock. Pippen against Thomas. Detroit with the rebound. Sally's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. It's Thomas on the wing. 22 points for him. To the middle. Here's Scheller. Outside for Thomas. Inside, Sally. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Thomas got his fifth assist in this one. Sees the floor so well. Oh, and Clark, it went in. Count it. Yeah. Oh, boy. Believe that went in. Those are pretty much three free points. That one had about a one in 100 chance. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Bulls lead by one. Live from Chicago Stadium, you're watching 2K Sports. I can't well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Jordan against Walker. Sally with a screen on Jordan. Here's Walker. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. This one has turned into an absolute nail biter. Yeah, you know, at this point, Kevin, you almost expect it to come down to the last possession. We'll see if that's the case. Pops it up for Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. There's not a place on the floor where Jordan can't hurt you. Efficient is what he is. And here's Thomas who brings it up for the Pistons. To the paint. A nice shot by Bedford. And the Pistons lead by one. Clearly a mix-up defensively there. Way too easy inside. And in a close game, those can come back to haunt you. Bulls moving the ball around. Purdue the pass to Armstrong. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. The big man, Purdue, possesses a good feel for when to give it up. The Pistons have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Armstrong against Thomas. Pass to Sellers. Back to Thomas. Just five on the clock. And there's the drive. Sweet little floater. Thomas got 24 points. This demonstrates the focus Thomas has. Excellent at sliding past defenders and finishing at the rim. Now Armstrong. Here's Jordan. Good. 24 points for Jordan. That's exactly the shot they're looking for. That's the one they wanted. Get it into his hand and let him do his thing. You have to lean on your guys in close games like this. The NBA is a star's lead. against King. Nine feet out. The shot's good from Sally. Sally's got four points in the quarter. Perfect execution in the pick and roll by Thomas. A top-notch decision maker. Fourth quarter of playing. We're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Here's Upson. King outside. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Count that one. He's got 26. Relentless. You make contact with Jordan, it doesn't affect him at all. The Pistons trailing. Outside Thomas. Out to the right wing. Sally with a screen on Armstrong. 
Thomas passes to Sally. That's good. And it's Thomas picking up the assist. And the Pistons lead by one. With the game in the balance, can't ask for a better look than that. Pass to Hobson. Jordan outside. King outside. And the pass to Hobson. Shoots from the line. Rebound by the Pistons. Not a bad look, just didn't fall. Walker with it. Now guarded by Jordan. And that was a foul. No question about it. He deserved to go to the line after that hit. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Pistons. You know, all game long, they've imposed their will on the interior, scoring a lot of points in the painted area. Another thing they did well was taking advantage of the holes in the defense. Very aggressive in exploiting the lack of concentration. That's good from Walker. Chicago making some changes. Levingson's checked in for Purdue. Williams comes in for King. And it's Paxson in for Hobson. And Beers checked in for Detroit. Thomas comes in for Sellers. And so Walker nails both of them. Here's Jordan. And out of bounds, the Pistons will take it. Kings checked in for Williams. And a switcher also for Detroit. Simmons checked in for Thomas. Pistons leading by three. No question, Mike, this offense has some firepower. And looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. Outside, Lambeer. Pass to Walker. Six to shoot. Detroit needs to get off a shot. A three from Thomas. And again, it's the Pistons missing. For Chicago, they've gone an outstanding four and five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Armstrong against Thomas. A big stint. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. This is how you convert inside. Levison just powering it down in style. Lambira screen. Goes up with the strike. Thomas, good. Thomas got four points now in the quarter. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. Here's Levingston. Pass to Armstrong. Here's Levingston. Some nice ball movement here by the Bulls. Shoots. Rebounded by Lambeer. Lambeer's got five rebounds tonight. Simmons inside. He's defended by Jordan. Simmons passes to Sally. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Boy, how much fun has this game been? Come on, man. Each side putting on an offensive clinic. I have really enjoyed it. It's incredible that they're still playing at this level. Yep, it goes. And the Piston lead is cut down to three on the bucket from King. This is how you share the ball. Levingston, great pass to the open man. Armstrong against Thomas. it to Lambeer. It's Thomas on the wing. Lays it up off the glass. Thomas got 28. When he gets room like that, look out because he will score. For Chicago, they've gone 6 of 8 to the field in the 4th so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Here's King, and he drops in the layup off the glass. And this is how you guard King, but sometimes he still sinks it. So it's Detroit now. Three-point lead. 
Howard timeout called by Detroit. I've been really impressed with some of the adjustments Coach has made here in this ball game. Yeah, as the game has moved along, Coach has done a nice job making the necessary changes. Chicago making some changes. Bill Clark, he's checked in for King. Grant comes in for Livingston. And Pippen subbed in for Armstrong. Then for the Pistons, Dennis Rodman. He's checked in for Sally. McGuire comes in for Simmons. And it's Dumars in for Walker. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. During the last break, I heard what Emmanuel Barnett was talking about with his team. With the game in the balance, Coach was calm in the huddle. His main message, execution. He told his team to make sure to remember what they talked about during shoot-around. We've got a great ending in store, guys. Thank you, David. Dumars against Paxson. Dumars misses. Bulls trail by five. Grant outside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Using his size to his advantage. Like seeing Cartwright force the issue and get the whistle. At the line for your Bulls, Bill Cartwright. He misses the free throw. Known as having an unorthodox shot, Hartwright is such a valuable role player. A big man who does what's asked of him. And he's good on the second. Tough miss at this juncture. They're down two baskets right now. Thomas against Paxson. And Rodman with the basket on the assist by Thomas. And the Pistons lead by six. Really good cut from Rodman there. Being rewarded for working hard in that screen and roll action. Here's Cartwright. Banked in off the glass. Use the pick. Get space. Easy, smart basket. Pistons leading by four. It's Thomas on the wing. Guarded by Paxson. Thomas, no good. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Grant outside. Here's Cartwright. Shakes him. Paxson outside. Pippen against Thomas. Second shot opportunity. Count it and the foul. That's on Isaiah Thomas. Boy, Pippen gets the bucket and is going to shoot the and one. Excellent concentration there. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Chicago, Scotty Pippen. Free throw good from Pippen. Points, assists, rebounds, defense. Scotty Pippen gives your team all of that. Every team in the league wants a guy like him. Rodman sets the screen for Thomas. Jackson with the steal. Last break, here comes Chicago. Moving it up. Here's Grant. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. The Pistons leading. Outside Dumars. 20 feet out. It's all in by the Bulls. Cartwright's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Jackson with the ball. Jordan down low. Covered by Dumont. As clutch as they come. Michael Jordan, a huge bucket. And for the Pistons, they're shooting. Indicative of smooth offensive play. Up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. passes to Lambie. Outside Thomas. Shot clock at five. Over Paxson. 
and the basket by Thomas. Isaiah Thomas. Thomas got 30 points. Isaiah Thomas, not a guy to back down from the moment. Great competitive spirit and able to produce in the clutch. Rodman against Jordan. Grant, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Bill Lambeer. You know, I think that was a message-sending foul there. They're not going to allow any easy buckets at the rim. Yeah, as a coach, I like that one. Make them earn it at the line. He's off on the first. He hits the second from the line. Here is Aguayan. Minutes. 156 left to play here in the fourth. With the teardrop. Here's Lambeer and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Lambeer's got four points this quarter. You hear about his physical toughness, but how about the mental toughness by Bill Lambeer to take and make that big shot? Here's Jordan. Rodman with the block. They call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three point play. Clutch basket from the worm out there for more than his defense and rebound. It's a flagrant one foul. Very hard foul. You can't let them get away with that level of contact. So, Mike, right, a simple call for the officials to make. Everyone knows the league is cracking down on that kind of intimidation tactic. So the first one drops, and that narrows the lead down to just three. And, you know, this isn't necessarily Pippen's strong suit, but his team needs him to come up big here. Both good from the line that time. A great foul shooter. And he delivers there. Really key in a tight game. Paxson outside. There's the pass to Jordan. And out of bounds, the Pistons will take it. With the score being so close, you never want to see the team just give the ball away like that. One ten left in the fourth quarter. Thomas against Paxson. Thomas inside. Outside, the boy. Here is Thomas, down to five on the shot clock. The rebound by Cartwright. Mark, this is an important possession here. Under pressure, we'll see how well they execute now. Jordan finds Grant. Oh, wow, a huge basket to tie the game. Now that is how you come through when it matters most. He has ice in his veins. Biggest shot of the game, and he converts it. Now a timeout called by Detroit. It's tied at 101. 36 seconds left to play in the final quarter.
We've got 33 seconds left in the game. McGuire kicks to Thomas. Jordan against Dumars. Lambeer with a screen on Jordan. Like at six. That's a critical basket there. Now they have to guard the perimeter tight. Can't give up a three. For Lambeer. Ouch. Boy, was that painful. That was basically just a choke job. I hate to say it. Could have put this game on ice, but he didn't. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're behind by two. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth. What do you think, guys? Look, they've got more than enough time to get a basket here. And they've got to be aggressive. The defense doesn't want a foul. And, you know, that's why this possession is so big for them. I mean, it could be a turning point. Now here's Jordan. Pick by Cartwright. Jordan, the pass to Cartwright. Ooh, off line. And he commits the intentional foul. first and that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line and it's a four-point ball game. Tremendous poise at the line. That should put this game to bed. Chicago calls timeout. Guys, your thoughts? And even though this game is likely out of reach, a lot of coaches want to practice their strategies in these situations. That's right. Try to extend the game. Bring out wins, or at least lessons. And so the big win by Detroit in a tight game. And they got to feel good about this win, Mike. They worked hard to come away with it. Yeah, it's a testament to their work ethic as well as their coaching. Everyone came together in order to grab this road victory. And they needed everyone to have uh, all hands on deck, didn't they? They sure did. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. So for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching this 2K sports presentation of the NBA. See you later.